Hello, today we're going to be looking at Google Classroom. So I am in one of my Google Drive accounts here. The first thing you need to note about Google Classroom and setting it up is that you need to have a Google Apps for Education account in order to do that. So once we're logged into our Google Apps for Education account, we can come up to the waffle over here. Let me click on this and you will see um, Classroom. So I'm going to click on Classroom and here we can see two classrooms I've already set up. So I'm going to create a new classroom. And over here on the plus sign is the classes that we um, are gonna make. So we can, I can either join a class or create a class. Well, in this case, I'm the teacher, I want to create the class. So I'm going to click on create. And here in this dialog box, we give it a name. So I'm just gonna call this And I like to date my year, classroom years, so that means I don't have to create a new class. I create a new class every year. I don't try and add students and delete students from the same class. I keep them separate. Um, you can, depending on the size of your school, whatever you are, a section, you could be um, humanities, for example, and we could do history. Okay, and you can saw the pop-up list there. Um, for some suggestions from Google. Um, you don't have to fill that in by any means and click create. Here is the blank classroom created by Google. The first thing you see is that Google's given us a pretty picture at the top here and you might want to stick with that, it's entirely up to you. But over here on the right hand side here you can select theme, upload a photo, so select theme and there's a whole bunch of pictures that you can choose. So you can see there's the one we've been given here. So I could choose this one if I wanted to. Um, and you know, the pictures that Google have got are generally pretty good um, and education related, or you could put something that you want to put in there yourselves. So I might just choose that one, which is, and I just change it, there we go. And note how the color bar at the top also changes to suit the, um, the color scheme as well. Um, you could also also upload a photograph um, and you can just drag and drop as you see fit. So let's have a quick look at the interface that is Google Classroom. At the top here you can see we've got three tabs, Stream, Students and About, and we'll go through those um, in a moment. Down the side here you can see we've got uh, Work Due Soon, where we haven't set any um, tasks yet, we haven't set any topics, um, and we um, haven't put anything in the stream yet other than this thing here. The newest task is at the top and down in the bottom right hand corner here we can see we can create announcements, create an assignment, create a question and reuse a post and we'll get into all of those in a later video. So that's the stream. Newest post at the top um, and you as the teacher can see everything in the stream. Um, and you, as I'll show you later on, um, students can see everything in the stream that they've been given access to, which means that you can differentiate work as well. So let's go about setting up our classroom a little bit more. So you click on here, students. Now, over here you can see we've got the class code RB, R6, B, O, T, 8. This, this changes. We can invite students by email if we want to or by group. So let's just show you what that looks like. I'm going to invite one of my students. So I'm going to type in here. There we go. In she goes. Click invite. Okay, I'm going to invite another student. Um, click invite. Now, obviously, you can go through the entire class and they will get an email in their inbox saying you've been invited. Um, but by far and away, the simplest way to get your students into your classroom is to just give them the invite code. And they then go to uh, Google Classroom um, and join a class like we saw before. So that's my preferred method is using the class code. Over here in About, we can see um, we can set a whole bunch of things up here, the Google Class Drive folder, we can just click on that and in my own drive, in the classroom folder, there's a, can you see here, there is now a, a Room 22 2018 Humanities folder, which is the common folder to this classroom, 
and that allows me to be able to put any content in here and I know it will be available to be shared with all the students in my class. So that's a good organisational tip there. We'll come back to this. Classroom calendar, pretty obvious, Google Calendar, um, you can insert. But the key thing for most other teachers, if you're working in a shared teaching space, is you need to be able to invite other teachers. Also in the stream here, we've got the ability to add class materials. Now this is something, a space where you might want to have something you want the students to refer to. In the stream, uh, as you add new content, the stream gets longer and longer and longer. So it might be something that you have decided that you want the students to have access to all the time and find easily. So if you use the About tab here, you can add class materials. So for example, I'm going to click on class materials here. So that could be, these. look at these four options here, that could be uh, an attached file or something, or something from your Google Drive, or a link to a website. But in my case, um, I like to the students to self-serve their own skill set. So it may be a range of tools that I want them to master throughout the year. So I, rather than keep asking me, I allow them to um, access the tutorials. So for example, I want to put a YouTube video in here. I'm going to add one of my own. Just press enter, here we go. And I'm just gonna click add. And so now I can post this and it will sit here in the, um, the sort of class resources stage we look on the stream it doesn't appear on the stream at all so it's not a task or an announcement or a, um, a question but it's something that the students it's a, it's a, another space you can use to create content add places um, um, resources for the students to or always have access to and find easily so that pretty basically is the overview of um, Google Classroom and the next video we're going to look at actually how to add content and then how to um, distribute that to the students.